Samiran, uh, what form and shape do you think the narrative might take this time round? Because, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm quoting from what uh, the principal advisor for the Dep Department of Economic Affairs has said, and he says, and I quote, Atma Nirbhar Bharat scheme is not to be mistaken as an import substitution policy. Uh, it, it tends to be seen as that. How do you think the two can deviate? Can we have the best of both worlds where we are trying to create this kind of, uh, you know, space for domestic manufacturers, but we also have international aspirations or global aspirations via greater exports? The question really is that uh, what's different in this import substitution versus the pre-1990s import substitution, which we all economists are worried about because we have well documented that uh, that pre-1990s uh, import substitution led to a lot of inefficiencies uh, which pushed our growth back, right? I mean, my view what is changing is that while uh, the trade account the government is became become selectively protectionist, and I'm using the word selectively and practically uh, quite consciously. Uh, but on the other hand, the capital account is becoming more and more open, and I think that's the counterbalance that the government is looking at. That if the domestic industry becomes inefficient, complacent under the tariff umbrella, then there's a potential of uh, takeover by uh, global companies. And, and that threat of takeover would not make the domestic uh, manufacturers become inefficient uh, despite the tariff protection that is being given to them. Uh, as long as this model works, it's a very interesting uh, combination that we are trying. Uh, but uh, there is always that a fear that once you are on this path, there's a slippery slope and demand for from more and more industries will come in uh, for these kind of protections. And once you combine that with the fiscal incentives that the government is giving, then uh, the overall protectionist tendency would come even more than what the simple tariff and non-tariff barriers would suggest.